Hello again, fellow preppers. Adam is going to tell us about how to make a survival cache out of PVC pipe today. You can do it in all different sizes, and this is probably a medium diameter. It's in, in the height. You can make them so they're small enough. They could be just a foot tall and put a bottle of water in it and some survival snacks. This one's made to house more things than that. Um, Adam, why don't you tell us a little bit about the PVC pipe and how you can turn it into a weatherproof and durable survival cache. So well, with this one, this is actually four inch PVC pipe. Um, has an adapter right here and you can buy these kits that cap off and they screw on and off. So you'd be able to have a lid on it to remove it easily. Um, then on the other side is a plug that you would use to actually completely plug off the spot. Um, and with doing that, it seals it you use a uh, pipe glue and cleaner, and it basically, when it dries, it's basically super glue. It's, it's not going to come apart for quite a while. And that one's about four years old, so it's held the test of time of being banged around quite a bit. So are those pieces that are on there, the end cap and the one you're twisting now, are those threaded, or are they just put on completely with glue? This piece is threaded. The rest of it from here down is all glue. It's all glue, and that's been banged around and toted around a good bit, so it stayed together. Let's um, show the inside. Maybe put your hand in there, arm, to demonstrate the size. I know we have a few things in that one. It's not large enough for most guns to fit in. I know we tried to put my Ruger 40 uh, caliber handgun, and it was too wide, but you can put plenty of extra magazines in it. And what kind of gun did you say you could break down and fit in that diameter? Um, with this one, depending on how you have the stock, a single shot shotgun would be able to break down and slide into this. Okay. And if you had a little pocket gun, like the yeah. one you got your girlfriend or the one my husband yeah. carries, they're smaller. He has, my husband has a 38 or 380 that fits in his pocket. It has a holster that's shaped like a wallet. Yeah. That would fit in there. Um, the handle on mine was just too big, the grip of it, yeah. even with the magazine out. So, yeah. yeah, the little handgun that I have would fit perfectly in this tube. And what kind of handgun is that one? It's a Heminese 22. So as long as it doesn't have a real long grip on there, yeah. and even yes, even taking the the uh, magazine off of mine, it would just yes. still still too big. So what's in that one? We have some targets. What all do we have down in there? Uh, it looks like the only thing that's in here is targets. Is targets? That's just one that's not been buried yet, and I'm not sure why we had targets in it. It may just been for safekeeping when we moved, and that one just never got buried. Um, how deep could you bury that? Any worries about the ground crushing it? Cars? Anything driving over it? Um, if you buried, took post hole diggers, dug straight down, and buried it straight down in the ground, and then filled in around it, it it would never, even if you ran it over with a car, it, it wouldn't affect it. Okay, what if you dug it with a shovel and did it long way, so you didn't, so you didn't have to? Digging it so deep wouldn't be a problem, but if you're in a survival situation, you got to get it out deeper. I imagine you want to bury it deep enough that mud and rain and flooding is not going to expose it, but not so deep you can't get it out pretty quick. Yeah, with laying it long ways, I would probably put it about a foot, foot and a half down in the dirt. Um, that, that would also protect it from cars running it over, from the weather and everything. Okay, and that it would wouldn't... be easier to dig it up at one to one and a half feet down. All right, wouldn't crack. I just want to make sure it wouldn't crack with trucks yeah. and things. So what if somebody buried it and had equipment like we do, which a lot of preppers do, with a backhoe or the Massey Ferguson tractor? Can it stand up to that kind of weight? Probably not. At a foot and a half. It would if yeah, it was deeper. Yeah, it would bust it. Okay, so if you're going to have it somewhere where heavy equipment would or could drive over it, you need to go down what? At least two, if not three feet? At least two, two and a half to three. Okay, and once you start digging it out, if you have it long ways, you get part of it dug out, you can reach it with your hands and finagle it, shake it a little bit, and, and probably get it out at a foot and a half. At two to three feet, not quite so much. So, if somebody wanted to build that, about how long would it take them? Fifteen minutes. Nice, quick and easy. How much? would that cost? I have no idea how much a PVC pipe costs in the glue. I know PVC pipe is more than what I think every time I come up with some Pinterest project for Bobby to do. Probably two, three, ten, two, probably about 20 to 30 hours. Including the adhesive? Yeah. Okay, well that's not too bad, especially if your life depends on it. Right. Now, is that one waterproof enough we could sink it in the pond? So we could sink it into a pond or a creek to hide it that way? Yeah, if this cap was tightened enough, take a adjustable wrench, tighten it up, you could submerge it in water. Okay. And it would be safe. And to give it extra protection, you could put your gun in a 
vacuum sealed bag or a, a, what do they call those wet bags or something when you go boating or kayaking. Mm -hmm. So for a little extra protection just in case. So that would be a great way to hide something if you could get it deep enough in the water. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Not expensive. And how long do you think it would take to make it? Did you tell me that already? About 15 to 20 minutes. I think yes. you did tell me that. So um, what tools would you use? A hacksaw to cut the PVC? Pretty much all you need is a hacksaw and a glue. Hacksaw and glue. That sounds like an inexpensive project to make. Yep.